One of the concerns about the ongoing global warming is what effect that might have on the Gulf Stream system in the North Atlantic. The Gulf Stream system, or what we experts call the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, is a, a large-scale ocean current system that brings heat towards the northern Atlantic. We're standing here in Iceland, and Iceland is in that very region where the Gulf Stream system delivers a lot of heat, and that basically works like a central heating system by warm surface currents coming from the subtropics along the coast of North America, that water crossing the Atlantic in the North Atlantic current and then uh, reaching the vicinity of Iceland, where it sinks down to great depth of uh, about 2,000 meters down in the ocean and returns as a cold, deep current. And this is responsible for a large part of the relatively warm and equitable climate that is uh, experienced in the North Atlantic as compared to other areas on the same latitude. Now we know from the Earth history that this ocean circulation system in the North Atlantic has been quite unstable. There have been abrupt changes leading to abrupt climate changes in the North Atlantic region affecting actually in fact the whole world. And the big question is will global warming that human activities are causing now affect that ocean circulation system once again? And the reason to be worried by this is the fact that this ocean circulation is driven by the water sinking down in the high northern Atlantic latitudes and that can only happen because this water reaches a very large density because it is cold and because it is salty. These two things, the coldness and the salt, make this water heavy enough to sink. With global warming, we are warming up that water which makes it less heavy and at the same time we are adding more rain and more melt water to the northern Atlantic making the water less salty. And so the whole driving force that drives this overturning circulation gets weaker and weaker and climate models have long predicted that this ocean current will slow down in response to global warming. Actually this has even stirred the imagination of Hollywood and uh, many will be familiar with the film The Day After Tomorrow, which is based on the general idea of a collapse of the North Atlantic Ocean Circulation System. Now, is this already perhaps happening? We don't have direct current observations going far enough in time to, be for sh to know this for sure, but there are indeed indirect indications that the Gulf Stream system has been slowing down since about the 1930s. And those indirect uh, indications are, for one thing, the sea surface temperature changes that we observe in the Atlantic. There is a very specific region where the sea surface gets colder when the North Atlantic circulation slows down and that is the subpolar North Atlantic, the region to the south of Greenland and just to the south of Iceland. And as a matter of fact, that is practically the only region on this planet which has seen a cooling trend since the beginning of the 20th century. The whole rest of the globe has been warming since the beginning of the 20th century. And in fact, last year in 2015, the region to the south of Iceland saw record cold temperatures in the ocean since the beginning of record keeping in the year 1880. And we think that this is a telltale sign for a slowing down of the Gulf Stream system. There are also other indications from proxy data that uh, suggest that there has been a change, a slowdown in this North Atlantic overturning system that is unprecedented in the previous 1,000 years at least. And in a way that does not surprise me as a physical oceanographer because we have seen unprecedented global warming in the 20th century and as I explained just before, this tends to reduce the density of the seawater in the North Atlantic, making it harder for that water to sink and that would ex be expected to lead to a slowdown of the ocean circulation. 
as I said, the models predicted that, but we find that the cooling that we actually observe in the North Atlantic is somewhat larger than the models would have predicted. So this may be one of the many things where we can say the climate models have been basically predicting the right thing, but they have been under predicting it. They, the real changes are occurring faster than what we have expected.